here tonight? Why at this particular crossroads? Why are we talking about a renovation? But when you ask the question about our campus, do our buildings allow us to make disciples, you come up with a mixed answer. And I want us to remember why we're talking about this project tonight. It is not because we want a shiny new building. It's not because we're in competition with anybody in the community. Uh, it's not because it's long overdue, even though it is. So why are we talking about it? First and foremost, our mission is to make disciples of this and future generations. And we have a facility that in some ways no longer enables us to do that as well as we could. Does our campus facilitate the making of disciples? Not as well as it could with some changes so that we might reach others for Christ. But with some major changes, uh, we will not only be preparing this facility for today and for the immediate future, but for generations to come. So I am excited about what we're doing. I'm going to call on uh, Bill Grimes to come and share with us uh, a little bit more detail of uh, the assessment and the process and what the changes are going to look like a little bit. The project narrative uh, provide adequate storage for the entire campus, provide a more secure and better organized children's department, and update the building utilities such as <coughs> HVAC, plumbing, and electrical, to provide welcome centers for both the children's wing and the activity center renovate and update building finishes such as flooring, paints, and ceilings. Replace doors and door hardwares as required for function and security. Review our energy use and recommend methods, methods for improvements. And then we get into our children's wing, the first one. What we want to do is provide welcome centers for both the children's wing and the activity center renovate and update building finishes such as flooring, paints, ceilings, replace doors and door hardware as required for function and security, and then also to review our energy use. This, this is what our children's wing entrance looks like right now. And then on the next slide, you will see the layout that we have proposed for the children's wing. We come in making changes making additions. And then the next one will be what we have discussed that it could look like, just to give you an idea. And then the next is the activity center. You can see this is this is what it looked like before. And then we have the drawing of the you know proposed activity center on the next slide. next slide would be what it could look like. Here again, this is just, you know, some of the suggestions that we've talked about, but the next slide will be the education wing and fellowship hall. And here again, the first one would be the uh, drawings down the downstairs. This would include the Patsy Stewart class and then also the Wesley class and the uh, uh, fellowship class uh, moving together. The Wesley class has agreed to move down out of their main floor. Uh, and then the next drawing would be the, the education wing. And this is upstairs here. And then the next drawing would be basically the, uh, the upstairs also in the music area. And then the, re the remainder of the adult classes. And then the last drawing would be on the ground floor where the offices are, where the uh, and then where the Wesley class would be converted to the Children's Fellowship Hall. Don and I give on a weekly basis to the operating budget. And the reason we do that goes back to s several years when Mr. B.I. Thornton made a statement, a stewardship statement, that on s each Sunday morning when he got up and signed a check, put in the collection plate that it was a godly event to him and since that time we have both had that thought and you know when we do that each Sunday that is what we have in mind on our on our giving
We have so much going on, so much excitement, and uh, what we want to do on, on the budget campaign is continue this, you know, continue to grow and uh, uh, show who we are in the community. We supported the renovation of the sanctuary, the renovation or the uh, construction of the activity center, and now, we, you know, we fully support and will pledge three years on the upcoming campaign. Because we both love this church and, you know, and what is going on, the people we have, the children coming up, and thinking about what the future generation will hold for us. And uh, we, we ask for prayerful consideration on this and just let's get together and get this done.